The First Lady Dr. Jill Biden in the Alamo City today. Her first stop at the Mays Cancer Center at UT Health San Antonio, where the focus was on the cancer health disparities in our Latino community. Garrett Berger joined us live from the Medical Center to take us through her visit. Garrett. Well, the visit of Dr. Biden, who is a doctor in education, ties in with the White House's cancer moonshot effort, which it reignited just a few weeks ago. Now, the goal of this quote unquote moonshot is to cut the cancer death rate in half over the next 25 years. An admirable goal for sure, especially with communities that are being hit harder than others with this disease. Arriving at UT Health San Antonio, alongside Mayor Ron Nuremberg and the head of the National Cancer Institute, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden took a tour of the Mays Cancer Center, meeting healthcare workers and patients. Yeah, and get it over with and get on with my day to day. One thing touched upon, the number of missed cancer screenings during the pandemic. That's played into the White House's call to action on cancer, and it's an issue UT Health San Antonio has run into. So we partnered with University Health System, uh -huh. and they brought uh, their mobile mammogram unit out. But the centerpiece of the visit was a listening session with experts about disparities in cancer health in the Latino community. Cancer really, I bet, touches every single one of us. And, but it doesn't affect every community in the same way. Whether it's the health risk. We're seeing, uh, for example, liver cancer at twice the rate of, compared to other populations, stomach cancers. Or the load on the loved ones who take care of the patients. And when we talk about Latinos, Latinos have more than one job. So if they're the caregiver and they have to take their partner to an appointment and lose their job, and, and on top of the cost of the treatment, that is even worse. The Bidens lost their oldest son, Beau, to brain cancer in 2015. And Dr. Biden said her husband's administration will be working to fight cancer every day. But I really think, you know, we're trying to end cancer as we know it, and I think we can do it. The First Lady also stopped by JBSA Lackland on her way out of town. We've got a crew over there who's going to bring you the latest at 6. Live in the Medical Center, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.